Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Bridget to our 5 p.m. Mass, which is also being live streamed this afternoon. We ask you at this time to please take a moment to silence your cell phones. Uh, we have included the lyrics and the readings on our website, continuing to do that. And today it will be especially helpful to turn to the website because our opening song is found on the website. Unfortunately, it is not in the books. Also, the offertory song, same thing. Thank you so much for understanding, and we hope that you can sing along with us and pray along with us today. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord and the end of the Christmas uh, season. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate God's mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess, mighty, mighty God, God, and to and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters. And sisters I have, have great great sin sin in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, yes, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleased, pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Today's response is the Lord will bless his people with peace. The glory of God 
thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all, the people had been baptized and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying Heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son. With you, 
I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. It's confusing too many readings. Okay. Here. If I were the Pope, thank God I am not the Pope. I don't want to be even a Monsignor. It's praise, Monsignor, Bishop, da 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 da, Pope. No, not even Monsignor. The only thing I want of a Monsignor is the belly. Huh? <laughs> the good life. Is this the, the streaming mass? Yes? Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> they are watching me. Maybe. If I were the Pope, I will uh, declare uh, in the whole universal church, we have to reflect, reflect in, my, in my pontificate, uh, I don't know how many years, we we will challenge the whole church, the whole world, to reflect on baptism. Because I strongly, strongly believe that baptism is the key, uh, well, God, but baptism is the key uh, for us to be truly happy, real children of God. For example, uh, today I saw in the news that uh, 10 uh, persons were killed in Mexico and the bodies were thrown there in the streets in front of, the, uh, of a Christmas tree in, in, uh, in, the, in downtown in Zacatecas. They are children of God. Why are you killing your sisters and brothers? They are baptized like you, like me, like everybody else. And if we see poor, ignorant people in the world, we will try to help them. Just give them the opportunity, the chance to overcome poverty, ignorance, and those things. Give them the chance. They are baptized. They are children of God. God would say they are my, my beloved sons and daughters. I, I was very poor and ignorant in Mexico. I, I told you I went to seventh grade at 19. Because the opportunities were not given before. As soon as the opportunity came, I took it and I'm here. Nobody is poor because he wants to be poor. At the end, maybe they are poor because they are ignorant. ignorant. Okay, let us teach them. They are children of God. We are baptized. And husbands would not betray their wives, and wives would not betray their husbands. 
And children will take care of their parents, and parents will take care of their children because they will recognize we are baptized, we are children of God. We are the beloved sons and daughters of God. So many ugly things are happening in the world because we, we are not aware that we are baptized. And God says, he is my beloved son. She is my beloved daughter. We are children of God in, in, in Jesus Christ. So baptism is very, very important. I have been a very happy priest for 20 years. But I'm not happy because I'm a priest. I'm happy because I'm baptized. And I'm aware of that. If I do my duties as a priest, it's because I'm baptized. Not because I receive a salary monthly. Not because uh, some people or somebody or I don't know is checking on me if I'm doing my ministry. I receive a phone call from the, from the hospital. She is my sister. I have to go. Not because of a payment, but because she is a beloved daughter of God. A beloved son of God. I entered the seminary at 25, but before that I was very happy in my parish home, there sitting in the pews and serving and cleaning the church. Being a youth minister, because I recognized I'm baptized. I have this gift in myself and I have to sit up this gift every day and I have to go to school. I have to behave. I have to honor my mother and my father. I have to go to church and do whatever they need from me because I'm baptized. So if I were the Pope, I would say, the whole church and the whole world has to reflect on baptism during my pontificate. But I don't want to be a Pope. Yeah? Cameras, I don't want to be anything else. I have enough by being a priest. Today, some people here are ending a retreat. It was a, I was there for a while, but I, I, I noticed immediately it was a good thing. They wanted to know more about Jesus Christ. And I told them, knowing Jesus Christ is not just filling our brains with, with information about Jesus Christ, Knowing Jesus Christ is more than that. It's relationship. Friendship. Intimacy. With the Lord. Knowing Jesus Christ is realizing, knowing that he is with us. And the Bible says that. He is Emmanuel. God is with us. In the good times and in the bad times, he is with us. 
Knowing Jesus Christ is, 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 is knowing the way he behaves, the way he thinks, the way he acts. Because he is with us. And today we celebrate this, his baptism, the baptism of the Lord. And so we remember our own baptism. First of all, he didn't need to be baptized. Because the baptism of John is a baptism of repentance. And Jesus doesn't need to repent from anything. The baptism of the Lord uh, of John, uh, John is a baptism of conversion. But Jesus doesn't need conversion. He is not a sinner. And I have heard many times I want to be baptized at 33 as Jesus was baptized. 30 as Jesus was baptized. I will baptize my children when they are older because uh, the Lord was baptized when he was uh, already an adult. And everybody should be baptized uh, at, at an old age because uh, uh, Jesus was baptized at, a, at an old age. Jesus didn't need to be baptized. Many of our brothers and sisters, Protestants, say that, and they are watching some. Hey, Jesus didn't need to be baptized. So the baptism of John is not what you think it is. But Jesus wanted to be baptized. Why? And I, I am not telling you this. It is a Pope who says this. Pope Benedict, Emeritus Benedict. Because he wanted to, to have this in solidarity with all of us. In solidarity with all of us. to show us in advance what baptism means. And St. Paul develops this, this, this uh, theology on baptism in his letter to the Romans, especially chapter 6. Baptism is dying with Jesus and then experiencing resurrection. Romans 6. And that is what all of us experience when we practice our baptism. We die, and then we experience resurrection every day. And sometimes different times in a day. We die, we experience resurrection. You go to school in the morning, people tell you you are good for nothing. You smile, you know, you have a great value in God's, in God's eyes. You don't fight, you experience resurrection. Then you go home, and you have an abusive husband, but you know he's sick, or I don't know what happens in his mind. You forgive, you die, 
you experience resurrection. You are my beloved daughter. You go to, I don't know, you are driving, you find a crazy driver there every day, you breathe, you bless him, you bless her, you say, poor people, they are so unhappy, so miserable. You die to that anger, you experience resurrection, and God says, you are my beloved son. You see, it is every day. And many times during a day, that's baptism. We offer our spiritual sacrifices, our pains, our sorrows. We offer it, as St. Peter says in his letter to, in, in his second letter, chapter two, we are priests, we offer spiritual sacrifices. We die, we offer our sacrifice, then we experience resurrection. St. Peter, second letter, chapter two. We are priests. When we are baptized, we are told you are a king, a priest, a prophet. You see the importance of baptism? That's what we celebrate today, and that is what we would celebrate every day. I think humanity will be much happier and peaceful and kind if we realize that we are children of God, and we are baptized, and we are prophets and kings and priests, and we are children of God in Jesus Christ, and he goes with us when we drive, he goes with us when we go to school. We, he goes with us when we go home. And when we find opposition and hatred and problems, he is there with us. And he says, you are my friend. You are my beloved daughter, my beloved son. I am pleasing. I'm happy you are my child. Baptism. I didn't say any heresy, right? No? Because they are watching the... <laughs> nah, nah. They are not watching, yes. We are offering this to you, sisters and brothers who cannot be here with us today at this hour, but we offer this with great love, with great kindness, because we know you are sick, you, you cannot come, we don't know what happens, but you are our sisters and brothers too. Please stand. Let us proclaim our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in God's generosity, we give voice to our needs and the needs of our sisters and brothers. For the church, that we may realize the call we received in baptism and may, with the help of the Holy Spirit, bring light to all who dwell in darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that national and world leaders may defend the dignity of all people, especially those relegated to the margins of our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who suffer from depression and other forms of mental illness may be reminded of their self-worth and importance in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that we may all realize our baptismal calling to minister to others and that many may respond to that call through ordained and lay ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and suffering and all who have died, we especially remember the Kindio family, Luderino Datu, Marjorie Garcia, Feliciano and Juliana Panganiban, Felomino and Geralda Panganiban, Jesus Herrera Lerma, Lino Ozuna, Arturo Oscar Palanco, Leon Roberts Jr., Pedro de Gamo Sr., Artemio Pratrasil, David Flores, Stephen Lyon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the prayer petitions in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, the Marian Chapel, and our private petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear and answer these prayers according to your will. Bless us with peace and a renewed commitment to living our baptismal call. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory to His name. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are lifting them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo Garcia Siller, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Father, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends. And Stephen Lyon, and King jo, the Kinjo family, Luderio Datu, Marjorie Garcia, Feliciano and Juliana Panganiban, Felomino and Gerarda Panganiban, and Joe Kopecki, Joe Wizard, Emilia Uribe, and Anita Uribe. And all who have died in your mercy, Father, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray the Our Father at the command and divine teaching of Jesus Christ. Deliver our Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you.
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter Lord. under my roof, but only Lord. say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Thank you, Father. Good evening, sisters and brothers in Christ. My name is Manuel Jason Pena, and I'm here to invite the men of St. Bridget to our next study, The Creed, by Bishop Robert Barron. The keys that unlock the beliefs of the Christian faith are stated succinctly, stated succinctly in the Nicene Creed, which we pray every Sunday at Mass. Born at the Council of Nicaea in the fourth century after intense debates, this formal statement of faith is the foundation of both Eastern and Western Christianity. And to this day, most Christians around the world still subscribe to it. Men of St. Bridget, join us as we explore the creed with Bishop Robert Barron in a new study, beginning with orientation on Saturday, January 15th, from 7 to 8.45 a.m. The study will then continue with six more Saturday mornings. We will meet in the parish hall. After mass, we'll be in the narthex to get you registered and to, to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. God bless. That's very important and interesting. I'm planning to be there, yeah? Because I'm sure you have many questions. I, I spent 13 years in the seminary studying that, 13 years, the creed. I know you will have many good questions there, but God willing, I will be there with, with you to, to answer some questions. <clears throat> That's a good thing, wonderful thing. Also today we had a retreat, wonderful retreat also. And we are going to have the Acts retreat uh, next month. I'm planning to be there full time too. And we have the Suvenville conference, it is coming also, we are planning that. We are doing great things with God's help and moved by God and thank you very much for your courage. Also soon we will start working inside this, build this church with the floor, carpets and everything. And uh, we will announce it uh, when, but it seems it's going to be this month, mm -hmm. right? But we will tell you how it is going to be. We are going to change the whole floor, the whole carpet, and that's a big project. But it is, it is going to happen this month that's what I heard from the Archdiocese. Good. Wonderful. Let us see what happens. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the best thing about this is we are not going, we are not going to pay is insurance. Yeah? We are not going to pay that's even better. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The recessional is City of God, gather number 678. <laughs> 